Over 40 years ago, a woman from Massachusetts named Eunice Kennedy Shriver began a movement. It was inspired by her sister Rosemary, and the movement changed the world. 20 years later, another woman from Massachusetts named Lynn Brousseau made a decision. It was a decision inspired by her sister Colleen, a decision that changed the world for five children and all who know them. Lynn's the ultimate special needs teacher. Well, it's like she has two lives. She has her kids at school, and then she has her kids at home. We have eight children. Um, the youngest is 12, the oldest is 29. Three birth children, and then I have five adopted children with special needs. Our Hope, Shayla, Cameron, Alex, Stephen, Heather, Colleen, and Brendan. Stephen is really funny. Alex is a smart one. Camera's the leader, and Hope is my youngest sister. You might remember this athlete. Her smile is hard to forget. We met Shayla Brousseau earlier in the special, the gymnast chosen to represent the USA in Athens, Greece for the 2011 World Games. You see, the story began about her, but the more we learned about Shayla, the more we learned about her family and how they are just as much a part of her as she is of them. It's cool about my family because I love my mom, I love my dad, and my brothers and my sisters. They support each other, they take care of each other, and um, they're just one, they're a unit, they're, they're one unit. When the Brousseaus got the news that Shayla had been chosen to compete in the World Games, they knew how important this was for their daughter. What a once in a lifetime opportunity for a child to go to Greece and represent the United States. For her to be able to show what special needs children can do, that a disability does not stop her from being as great as anybody else. The Brousseaus knew immediately that in order to make account for Shayla, they had to do it together, the same way they approach everything in life. She's had support from, from all her brothers and sisters her whole life. And for her to go to Greece and, and have nobody there, or you know, or just Lynn or me, it, it's great that me, Lynn and I would be there, but the whole time she'd be thinking, oh, I, I wish I hope was here. If we didn't go, it just wouldn't work for Shayla or for any of us because we just have to all be there. It just it has to be that way. Sending the entire Brusso family to Greece would be quite the financial endeavor. That's when Clipped Wings stepped in. Clipped Wings started in 1941 in Chicago. There was a group of ladies that um, had flown for United Airlines and um, they had to quit when they got married. So they missed their career, they missed their friends, and they decided that they wanted to get together. And so their um, purpose, they um, decided, would be helping the developmentally disabled. Recently, Clipped Wings has started the Parent Grant Project, a program awarding families with the financial aid needed to attend Special Olympics Games. After reviewing hundreds of applications, the Brousseau family received a gift they would definitely use. Clipped Wings has given them a grant of $1,450. One of 20, we gave 20 away this year for $29,000 worth of helping families, and they were one of the families that got the help. After months of training, the love of her family, the guidance of Special Olympics, and the generous gift from Clipped Wings, Shayla, like a true champion, makes sure she thanks all that have helped her along the way. I like to thank my cup, Marsha, and Courtney, and Coach John from Special Olympics Temecula. I'd like to thank Mary, my World Games coach, and my mom and my family in Fatima. What started as a decision to open her home to special needs children turned into a loving family, a model we could all learn from, and for one woman, a dream come true. I could just burst with pride. I couldn't be more proud. I couldn't be more proud than I am. Of them every day, every day. You know, I look at them like they're a miracle. They are, every one of them is a miracle. And I tell them that all the time.